Hey guys, what's up? This is Carlos Graves from DroidDog.com and today what I got for you is a review on an application that I've been using a lot lately. It's called ROM Manager and it's made by Clockwork Mod. It is basically just a application that lets you switch uh, between ROMs and flash stuff and restore and boot into recovery, all that just super quickly. So I'll show you the high points, the low points, and I guess if there's any midpoints, I'll show you those too. So let's get right into this. So this can be found on the Android market. There's a little application right there. I don't know if you can even see that, but uh, we'll launch it. And you can see uh, right when I launch it, it says there's a new update available for Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, which brings me to my first low point. You have to use their specific recovery image for this application to work. If you don't, all of it will be grayed out. Uh, but the cool thing is that it's not a hassle to flash the recovery. All you have to do is, uh, if you see right there, it says uh, current recovery uh, 1.8.1.4 and then 1.8.1.8 is the latest so we can just hit that. It'll say confirm phone model. Yes, that is that is I. And you'll see up there is a little loading thing and it says successfully flashed. So there you go. Um, let me show you what that recovery looks like. And you can just click, as you can see there, the boot into recovery image, or option. So do you really want to? Yes, I do. Into recovery, which we like to see. Hopefully. It's taking a little longer than normal. And here it is. Here is the recovery that you get. Um, it's not the coolest looking thing in the world. It's just basically, let's see if we can focus in on that. I don't know if we can focus. There we go. It's basically, you just got those options, which are reboot system, apply update.zip, but you can also choose, whoops, that was a fail. I remembered that I had an update.zip on my thing. I tried to flash it. Luckily, it aborted, so nothing was harmed, but there you go. There's a little flaw. That was the user error. Don't worry. This isn't going to automatically just flash things for you. But uh, yeah, you've, yeah, what I was saying is you have this option, which is basically just choose what's on your SD card and uh, do that. So we'll reboot, and I will bring you back into the application. So now we're back into the application, uh, and I will show you the rest of it. <laughs> That was kind of a sidetrack. Uh, we've got install ROM from SD card. So basically you don't need to go into recovery to do anything. Just go install ROM from SD card and you can see all your stuff that you have on there. And it's not just ROMs. You can uh, flash any uh, update.zip file. Uh, it doesn't have to be named update.zip, but you can like, for instance, I have uh, kmobs kernel right there. I could flash that and it's not a ROM, it's a kernel. So you can download ROMs. Uh, it has a list of uh, servers it's attached to. You can go to CyanogenMod and it'll show you all the ones it has available. And it says if they're stable or not. Uh, all of them seem to be stable right on here. And one of them is a Google add-on. Uh, you've got Madako, you've got Extras, Stock Images, Kmobs Kernels are on here. Which is pretty cool, except for it doesn't seem like... Oh, it's loading. Okay. So this is 925 kernel. <clears throat> and we've uh, just got a ton of different stuff. Uh, the premium ones are under the paid version. There's a free version of this app and there's a paid version. I'm not remembering how much it is right now, but I'll put it in text on the bottom here. Um, you've got check for new ROM updates um, if you're using one of the ROMs that's supported on there, which most likely you are. I'm not because I'm on Froyo right now. It does does work on Froyo, by the way. Uh, so yeah, it doesn't know what ROM I'm on, so I can't check. Uh, install from uh, QR code, so you can scan a QR code if it's linked to a ROM, and it'll download it in here and flash it in here. This is the really cool part. Um, coming from a G1, and I, I use Switch ROM a lot, uh, which basically really quickly let me switch between ROMs, and this can do that. Uh, we have, these are all my saved ones I have right here, and then you can back up current ROM, and you can name it, and you press OK and it goes into recovery and it does all this stuff. It takes about five minutes. It's a pretty long process, but it saves absolutely everything and it restores absolutely everything. It's really neat to have. Uh, you have fixed permissions, uh, fixes uh, 
apps if they're like force closing or if they are just really buggy uh, and they didn't used to be. Uh, we have partition SD card and you can choose the size up from 128 to 512. Uh, and here's some I really like, flash alternative recovery, which I'll show you right here. Uh, it says right here I have um, Aminoraz 1.7.0.1 uh, on my SD card, so if I just press that and you just wait a second, it says sexually flashed recovery. Um, now before I boot into recovery, you're going to see all clockwork recoveries. It'll show you all the versions of the clockwork mod recovery that you can flash. So let me boot into recovery and show you that it really did uh, flash really quickly right there, Amon Ra's recovery image. And there's that. And recovery. No, okay. I'm bad at timing stuff. There we go. And you can see right there it says. See if it'll focus in on that. Come on, focus. Focus, focus. You can kind of. There you go. So the final verdict on this app is yes, you should download it. You should buy it if you can. It is really helpful. It is one of my most used apps, and I would recommend it to anybody who likes to tweak out their phone a little bit and still have a safety net uh, for if they mess up on something and they just want to flash back you can like I said just restore from those backups and it's just it's a really nice application overall they update it a lot it's it's really nice so uh, you can follow me on Twitter twitter.com slash carlosgraves and I will see you guys in the next video